Alright, hello, this is Janice coming at you again, and I want to share a few products that I've purchased, um, in, I don't know if I did a video over it or not, but I had previously purchased this Iman product, and this one is in an Earth 3. I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can, but it's in an Earth 3. And I got all these products at Walgreens, but I wanted to share with you a tiny, tiny haul that I did, small haul that I did, and I purchased more of these products because they work on my skin better than a lot of other products that I have purchased. And uh, it's a fraction of the cost, like half price of the cost that I spent on some <coughs> other products. Um, but Iman is a nice, this is the first one that I've tried, and it worked pretty good. Mm. It's not oily. It's a powdery finish. You can barely see it. Put a cross on those. Where I have a, um... Energizer Max batteries are designed to hold power for up to 10 years. Oh, right there. So it goes from... This stick is almost just like a powder. But this is something that I've had for a few months. And uh, I really do like it. So I did go in and make a couple of more purchases. So I want to show you what I got. I got this in an Earth 4 because sometimes this looks a little bit light so I'm trying a darker shade and it's by Iman it is the cream to, cream to powder foundation and uh, so I will be trying this one like I said it's in an Earth 4 so I'll be trying that um, I also purchased the um, semi loose powder by Iman, and this is in a earth dark. Let's see if you can see that it's in a earth dark, and the comes with a cute little brush. That's the little brush that it comes with, which I'm pretty positive I won't be using this brush with this powder. I'd probably use my flat brush, and this is by e.l.f., but it's one of my favorite brushes for powders, and you, you can see a little bit of powder right there, but you just twist the cap, and it, it dials out as much powder as you want or need, so I, I'm kind of liking that. I did try it to see how well I would like it and, and I was happy with it but I'm going to do a complete video to, uh, tutorial with these new products I just want to share them with you right quick and then I also purchased True Complexion Black Radiance um, foundation and it's in a 8920 brown sugar I don't know if you can see that writing or not but it's really pretty as well. Let me show you. That's it on my hand. And this is Iman. And that's Black Radiant. This one is like I don't have anything on. This one I can see a little bit of a, like a powder residue. Just a little bit, not much. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do a review with both of them. I saw some very pretty, pretty colors by Black Radiance. Uh, this one is number five zero one four, and it is no name. This one is five one one seven. This one is a, more of a purple. The fifty one seventeen. It's more of a purple. It's not open yet. And I don't have time to open it. I just want to do a short review. This one isn't open either. This one is 
5014 and it's a red a really red color but I want to try both of them I think they're very pretty and uh, last but not it's not last because I bought I bought some Maybelline waterproof mascara I love it it's I've been using it since I was about 13 12 13 years old it's, it's it works for me just as well as almost any of the other products I've used but I really do like it now if someone would like to purchase a high-end mascara to me thank you but I use this and I do have some others that are more expensive but that one works and I like it so I did purchase that as well this is my last product black radiance